welcome. Now that you have solved these first four problems, I'm going to go over them with you. Okay? So problem one, Jordan's activity tracker shows that when she walks for 12 minutes, she takes 804 steps. At this rate, how many steps would she take in 40 minutes? Now this problem here is pretty interesting, um, but if I wanted to know what I'm labeling here, what I would say is I'm looking at where the numbers are. I have 40 and I have 12 and I have 804. So what I would want to know is what do these minutes represent? I mean, what do the numbers represent? 40 goes with minutes, 12 goes with minutes, and 804 goes with steps. So chances are that's going to be what I'm comparing, minutes and steps. So this says in 12 minutes, she can take 804 steps. But it's asking how much could she take in 40 minutes. Now, if I put 40 right here for minutes, I know that 12 does not go into 40. 12 goes into 36 and it goes into 48. So I'm going to actually scoot over and go to 40 here. This is a rate problem. Okay, what I would want to do is say, well, how many steps could she take in one minute? I'll put a 1 here. So how do I get from 12 to 1? Well, that's always by multiplying or dividing, so I'd have to divide by 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1, but whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So 804 divided by 12 is 67. Now that's not the answer. That means that she could take 67 steps in one minute. Now I'm going over to 40. So how do I get from 1 to 40? I multiply by 40. And right here I multiply by 40 also. And I get 2,680. 2,680 steps in 40 minutes. Okay, that's number one. Number two, Jordan's activity tracker, sorry, typo. Jordan's activity tracker shows that when she walks for 12 minutes, she takes 804 steps. So 12 minutes is 804 steps. Um, Barbara's tracker shows that when she walks 2,100 steps or 2,000, 100 steps, it takes her 32 minutes. Who is walking at a faster rate? That means steps per minute. Rate means comparing the two things, so steps per minute. What I want to go to is one minute for each of them. So for Jordan, I know that I divide by 12, and whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. We already did this one a minute ago, right? 804 divided by 12 was 67. So Jordan takes 67 steps per minute. Karen, on the other hand, walked for 32 minutes, so I would have to divide by 32 here. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So 2,100 divided by 32. That's not going to be a whole number. When you divide that, you will get 65.625. That means that's less steps, right? So think about it here. In one minute, Karen can walk a little over 65 steps per minute. And Jordan can walk 67 steps in that same minute. So who's walking faster? That would be Jordan because it's more steps per minute. Okay, number three. Mario put four sugar packets into a 16-ounce container of coffee. Sam puts eight sugar packets into a 31-ounce container of coffee. Who makes sweeter coffee? Okay, so what I would look at here, Mario puts four sugar packets into 16 ounces of coffee. And Sam puts eight sugar packets into 31 ounces. Now, to compare this, there are a couple of ways you could do it. One, you could simplify it and say, well, how about one ounce of coffee, how much would it hold? But you know, I do see a pattern here between the four and the eight, right? This means Sam uses twice as many sugar packets for a certain amount of coffee. So what if I made this over to eight? If Mario uses four sugar packets, how much coffee did he actually make? I multiply that by two also. That means in 32 ounces of coffee, he uses eight sugar packets. And Sam, in 31 ounces of coffee, uses eight sugar packets. So who's sweeter coffee? They both use eight ounces of sweetener, eight ounces of sugar. No, eight packets of sugar, I'm sorry. How much coffee was with that eight packets of sugar? Well, this one has 32 ounces and this one has 31 ounces. The one with the less coffee with that same amount of sugar would be sweeter. 
So Sam's is sweeter. Okay, again, any of these that you miss, I want you correcting them as you go on your paper. Okay, last question here. All right, Jared uses 0.75 or 3 fourths cups of lemon juice concentrate. That's just like the strong lemon juice mix to make five cups of lemonade. So that's the two things I'm comparing. How much cups of the lemon juice concentrate, so that's a mix, to make a certain amount of cups of lemonade. Okay, so it's all in cups. So cups of lemon juice concentrate and cups of lemonade. So here is 0 0.75 to make five cups of lemonade. <clears throat> if I have four and a half cups of that lemon juice concentrate, how much lemonade would I make? How many cups of lemonade? Okay, right here, I do not see that relationship. But if I divided, I said, well, 0.75 times what is 4.5? I could do that division here. Not one-handed so well here. I would actually get a 6. So, 0.75 times 6 is 4.5. So what is 5 times 6? 30. He can make 30 cups of lemonade if he has four and a half cups of lemon juice mix. Okay, now that you've corrected all these on your paper, you have three more to answer before the timer goes off.